I don't think there's a single person on earth who hasn't experienced fast food. Whether it's grabbing a quick burger, fries, or a late night snack, fast food chains are practically everywhere, serving billions of customers every day. It's so ingrained in our culture that even if you haven't stepped foot in one, you definitely know about them. Unless, of course, you're from a tribe that hasn't been discovered yet. Today, we're diving into the world of fast food royalty, where I'll be revealing the top richest fast food brands and just how massive their empires have become. Before we dive into the video, don't forget to subscribe to The Food Chronicle for more exciting content. Ah, Pizza Hut, a name that's as comforting as the sound of that pizza box being opened. From small town Kansas beginnings in 1958, two brothers with just $600 transformed this into a global pizza empire. Today, Pizza Hut is valued at around $6.5 billion. That's a whole lot of dough, pun totally intended. It all started with Dan and Frank Carney, who had a simple dream, make pizza that would knock your socks off. And they did. Pizza Hut was the first to introduce pan pizza, and now they're everywhere. Over 18,000 locations worldwide. That's more restaurants than most people have in their entire town. Whether it's their stuffed crust, the deep dish, or even those wacky pizza innovations, looking at you, pizza with hot dog crust, Pizza Hut has become a pizza legend. It's more than just pizza, it's a slice of history. If you've ever craved chicken on a Sunday and felt the pain of pulling up to a Chick-fil-A only to remember they're closed, then you already know Chick-fil-A is different. But what makes them so special? Let's break it down. Founded in 1946 by Truett Cathy in a tiny Atlanta diner, Chick-fil-A has grown from humble chicken sandwich origins to a fast food empire valued at over $10 billion. That's billion with a B, all from serving chicken sandwiches with a smile. Oh, and speaking of those sandwiches, Chick-fil-A didn't invent the chicken sandwich, but they sure did perfect it. With over 2,900 locations nationwide, this family-owned chain has been feeding the masses with quality food and good vibes for decades. Well, except on Sundays. Why Sundays off, you ask? Well, founder Truett Cathy believed in faith, family, and rest. Some call it genius. Some call it torture when you want nuggets during the game. So next time you're devouring a Chick-fil-A sandwich, just remember, you're eating a piece of fast food history and a company valued at over $10 billion now that's some serious chicken scratch. Welcome to the world of Wendy's, where square patties and frosties reign supreme. As of early 2024, Wendy's is valued at a sizzling $4.8 billion. Yes, that's billion with a B, and not just because of the frosty shakes. It all started in 1969, when Dave Thomas opened the first Wendy's in Columbus, Ohio. With a name inspired by his daughter, Wendy, Dave set out to make burgers better. And boy, did he deliver. Wendy's became famous for its fresh, never frozen beef, because apparently frozen beef is so last century. And let's not forget the frosty, that delightful mix of ice cream and milk that's perfect for every occasion. Birthdays, breakups, and binge watching marathons. From its humble beginnings to a global fast food giant, Wendy's has definitely earned its place in the Burger Hall of Fame. So next time you're craving a square burger or a frosty that's practically a hug in a cup, you know where to go. Next, we are diving into the crunchy world of Taco Bell. This fast food giant, founded in 1962 by Glen Bell in a sunny California suburb, has grown from a single taco stand to a global sensation. Today, Taco Bell is valued at around $45 billion, and it's no wonder who can resist those cheesy, spicy tacos? From its humble beginnings with just a few items on the menu, Taco Bell has evolved into a taco empire, constantly innovating with quirky creations like the Doritos Locos Taco and the Crunch Wrap Supreme. And let's be honest, if you've ever had a late night craving, Taco Bell has been your tasty, taco-slinging savior. So the next time you bite into a taco, remember you're indulging in a bit of fast food history and a whole lot of cheesy goodness. Next, let's talk about Domino's Pizza, the cheesy giant that's taken the world by storm. Founded in 1983 by Tom Monaghan and his brother James in Michigan, Domino's has grown into a pizza powerhouse valued at about $18 billion today. 
From delivering pies on a motorcycle to becoming a global pizza phenomenon, Domino's has had quite the journey. They started with just a handful of locations and now have thousands worldwide. And remember the time when they promised a pizza in 30 minutes or less? Let's just say they're better known for their pizza than their speed these days. So next time you're savoring that cheesy slice, know you're indulging in a slice of pizza history, one delicious delivery at a time. Next, let's sink our teeth into the story of Burger King, the crown-wearing king of fast food. Founded in 1954 by James McLemore and David Edgerton in Miami, Burger King has risen to become a global fast food titan with a valuation of around $24 billion. From its early days with a simple flame-grilled burger, Burger King has come a long way. They've made headlines with iconic creations like the Whopper and, of course, their famous slogan, Have It Your Way, which basically means you can have a burger with everything except the thing you actually wanted. So next time you unwrap a Whopper, remember you're biting into a juicy piece of history where the only thing bigger than the burger is the brand's legacy. Next, let's welcome to a crunchy tale of KFC, the fast food giant that's been serving up finger-licking goodness since 1952. Founded by Colonel Harlan Sanders, KFC started with a secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices that's been a closely guarded secret, sort of like your aunt's famous apple pie recipe, but way more lucrative. Fast forward to today, and KFC has fried its way to a company valuation of around $30 billion. That's right, 30 billion bucks, all from a recipe so good it's practically worth its weight in gold. So next time you're munching on those iconic chicken pieces, remember you're not just enjoying a meal, you're part of a multi-billion dollar legacy of deliciousness. Next is Subway. Welcome to the story of Subway, the sandwich sensation that's been keeping us well-fed since 1965. It all began when Fred DeLuca and Dr. Peter Buck decided to create a healthier alternative to fast food. And voila, the foot-long revolution was born. Fast forward to today, and Subway is valued at about $10 billion, proving that even if you're just a sandwich, you can make a huge impact. They've got thousands of locations worldwide, so no matter where you are, a fresh sub is just a step away. So next time you bite into that veggie delight or classic Italian BMT, remember, you're savoring not just a sandwich, but a billion dollar idea that started with a simple dream and a whole lot of bread. Next, let's talk about Starbucks. Welcome to the caffeinated chronicles of Starbucks. It all started in 1971, when three coffee lovers in Seattle decided to turn their passion into a business. Fast forward a few decades, and Starbucks has brewed its way to a staggering valuation of around $120 billion. That's right, $120 billion, more than enough to buy every person in the world a latte, with some change left over for a few extra shots of espresso. What began as a modest store selling beans and equipment has now become a global coffee empire, complete with a secret menu and more frappuccino flavors than you can shake a coffee stirrer at. So the next time you're standing in line debating between a venti and a grande, just remember, every cup of Starbucks coffee is not just a pick-me-up, but a sip of a billion-dollar dream that's been brewing for decades. Next, we have the boss of them all. Welcome to the golden story of McDonald's, the fast food legend that's been serving up smiles and fries since 1940. It all began with Richard and Morris McDonald, who opened a small drive-in in San Bernardino, California. Fast forward to today, and McDonald's is valued at a whopping $200 billion. That's right, $200 billion, more than enough to buy a lifetime supply of Big Macs. With over 40,000 locations worldwide, McDonald's isn't just flipping burgers, it's flipping the script on fast food. From the Big Mac to the McNuggets, their menu has become as iconic as their golden arches. And let's not forget, their fries are practically the eighth wonder of the world. Crisp, golden, and always in demand. So the next time you're enjoying a happy meal or grabbing a McFlurry, remember, you're part of a billion dollar empire where the only thing larger than their success is the size of their fries.